Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at the normal distribution. And I've got my trusty graphics calculator here because I'll be doing an awful lot from the graphics calculator. I have no idea how many videos this is going to take because I've got an awful lot of questions here that cover all sorts of range of things that we need to look at. So the first off, we're going to be looking at normal distributions in general and just talking about what they mean. So we know that most things, if we measure it, follows a normal distribution. A normal distribution is a bell-shaped curve, like that one. And it's centered around a mean, and it also has a standard deviation that tells you how spread out around it it is. Okay, so that's the idea. Now, I would normally, when I draw do one of these, I would put in what the mean and standard deviation is. So that when I come to actually answer a question, I can look at where the numbers lie. Okay? So the first one says that we've got newborn lambs in Southland are distributed with a mean of 1.5 kgs and standard deviation 0.125 kgs. So my first thing is to make sure that my units are the same because that would be a really stupid thing to get wrong. It says, what's the probability a new newborn lamb in Southland chosen at random weighs between 1.5 and 1.75? So if I'm thinking about my picture, 1.5 was my mean and 1.75 will, uh, will be there. So I know it's between those two values. So let's go and have a look out on graphics calculator. To find the normal distribution, we need to go to stats, which is on number two. And then at the bottom there, in this button, we have the distribution button. So I press F5. Now there's an awful lot in the distribution button. We'll use a lot more of them in year 13, but for the moment, we're just looking at normal distribution. And then it gives us three options. NPD, NCD, and inverse normal. This first one, MPD, makes no sense at all. It has no reason for being there. As far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't be. So the only two we're going to use are NCD and inverse normal. NCD is when they tell me the numbers between which I'm going to be looking at, and I want to find a probability. Inverse normal is when they tell me the probability, and I want to work back. Okay? So, I'm doing an NCD. Let's choose that and it asks for a lower and upper standard deviation than mean so in this case my lower is 1.5 kgs because it's the smallest number I can get my upper is 1.7 kgs my standard deviation is 0.125 kgs and my mean is 1.5 kgs now I would always write down that in my question so I'm going to do one Go lower 1.5, upper 1.7, standard deviation 0.125, and mean of 1.5, and the probability that 1.5 is between x and between 1.7 equals, and I press enter, and it's 0.4452. And that was to 4dp. Always a good idea to write down your, what your units are. So that's one type. What percentage of newborn lambs would Sam, a farmer in South, and expect to weigh more than 1.75? So now on my second one, I've got a slightly different idea. Because I don't have an upper value. I know they've got to weigh more than 1.75, so that is my lower value but my upper value has to be bigger so I'm just going to pick a number that's big if you're doing the other way around if you want to find smaller than a number you'd pick a very small number so you put a minus in front of it so this time I'm going to get the probability that 1.75 is smaller than x equals 0.0227 point zero two two seven five. I'm going to make four significant figures. So that's the start of normal distribution. Okay.